Hello everyone. In our previous video, we understood the concept of JWT token. In this video, I am going to discuss how to generate the JWT token. There are two approaches that we can use for generating the JWT token. In the first approach, we need to create two requests. The first request is for the user registration and the second request is for authenticating the created user. In the second approach, we are going to create a custom authenticator that inherits from the authenticator base class. In the custom authenticator, we need to create two requests. The first request is for the user registration and the second request is for the authenticating the created user. You can use any of these approaches for generating the JWT token. The second approach is the recommended approach for generating the token according to the ResHAP online documentation. Now let us look at the authenticator base class. So this is an abstract class. Inside this class, there is an abstract method, which is this one. So whatever class that inherit from this class has to provide the implementation for this abstract method. Inside this class, there is a property called token. The value of this property is set in the constructor of this class. Now let us look at the existing authenticator that inherit from the authenticator base. So this is one of the authenticator that inherits from the authenticator base. And this is how the current class implements the abstract method. We are also going to follow the same pattern for creating the custom authenticator.